All right. Sorry. Um, I was not doing a good job of keeping track of uh, my battery life. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't get killed by Bruno walking back. I forgot it over. Check down this fella. Good. We retrieve our dagger. And we find a single key. Doesn't have any money. What kind of brigand is this guy? Okay. So, I really just want it to be night to him. Is that throwing maxed out? Yes, it is. Big box almost is. What do we got? Sure, why not? Good as anyone to randomly dodge away from. Do -do -do. I think it's good for a thief to be a talented dodger, don't you think? Just seems reasonable, all things considered. At least it uh, seems reasonable to me. Do -do -do. Always liked pretty much all of the music. Um, definitely in this first game, it's been long enough where I won't just automatically say that about the others. But um, certainly don't remember anything I didn't like. Um, we all just, uh, I think, do a good job of matching the the ambiance and the culture and really everything and. All the aspects of these games looks like it's starting to get darker around the area of the fight which is pretty cool pretty um, dynamic thing that they're able to do in the middle of a fight have the day night system still fully active um, I don't know if that's anything I've ever seen before like this so I do enjoy seeing that that's it's really pretty awesome Searching in, let's do this. Alright. Let's go see the fairies. Try not to uh, step in their circle again, which I did last time, like an idiot. Yes, I can dance. Go ahead, dance. Excellent. Fairies join in, dance with us. Such grace, such beauty. It'd be interesting if uh, your ability to dance was based off of, you know, your agility or something like that. That would have been interesting. Oh, wow, they're so impressed. That's nice. All right, let's chat with them. Wow. There's exactly one more conversation topic then you can ask before the fairies will get bored of you which is very silly I think on the other hand you could argue that you should be intelligent enough not to bother asking the fairies about the brigands since they don't seem to like or have much interest in humans but maybe the brigands mess with their circle and they would have told us stuff I don't know Alright, put some of the dust in the flask. Hey, tell us about the forest. Alright, that's enough. We'll see you guys later. Kiss a tree for me. I haven't heard that one before. Um, Alright, so what do we need? The mandrake root and robbing all the houses. Night is still young. I don't know if it needs to be particularly late at night in order to rob the houses. I don't remember. So, we're going to... Oh, 
What do we got? Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. Very unthiefy. So yes, we're gonna save it out here. Should be saving with Shadow Five. Um, particularly since I actually don't remember everything about. It's still on the other. Well, we'll try it. Lock is open. I wonder if you can listen at the door. The smell of lavender and dust fills your nose as you walk in. This reminds you of a great aunt's house you once visited. There is a covered bird cage near the stairs and a knitted basket beside the couch. Yeah, I don't remember all of the aspects of um, doing these thefts. So I don't remember what we are and are not supposed to do. But I'm highly likely I'll forget something. A string of pearls seems to have fallen into the bag among the knitting. You take the pearls, of course. The knitting you can do without. All right. Let's check this purse. First, you find 20 silvers and some soiled hankies. Take the silvers. Oh, you don't want the hankies? Chest is filled with old quilts, doilies, and sweaters. Five sizes too large for anyone to wear. You really don't want any of them, so you close the chest again. Take these candlesticks. Take the silver candlesticks, throw them in your pack. Search this. You find a single silver in one of the dust drawers. You find nothing else of any value. Um, I don't think... We want to check any other drawers, right? Up here? No. I think if we walk over here, we'll piss off the cat. I don't think we take that. If we open this up, we'll wake up the canary, and then uh, we'll get caught. So I think that that's it. We'll find out if I'm missing puzzle points at the end. We got the clock. Night's still young. Good. Still hope to get the mandrake root. Uh, not too far. That's... Door is locked. Snick, the lock is open. Head on in. Good. Everyone's asleep. That's always good. People in this house must have some money. Everything looks new, and there is not a speck of dust visible. The room smells vaguely of sauerkraut and bratwurst, with just a faint odor of smoke from pine wood. Somewhere in the house you can hear someone snoring. Again, let's do this just in case. Candelabra carefully in your pack. Oops. The dust drawer is an assortment of mostly worthless objects, but you can also take th find three silvers, which you take. I don't want to go up there. Gently and stealthy, you lift the lid on the little box. As the little music box begins to play, you hear the sheriff yell out, Otto, stop playing with that music box and go to bed. Boy, did you make a mistake. I think Otto just comes out and closes it and we're good. Otto, even in a sleepy state, winds the music box and closes the lid before he heads back to bed. That was close. The goon must have been so dumb or sleepy or both that he didn't even see you standing there. Mm, but now that door is open, that's unfortunate. Toss the box in your pack. <clears throat> Take the vase carefully from the mantle and place it gently on the floor. By lifting the painting, you can see what certainly must be a safe hidden in the wall. All right, let's see how this goes. Doesn't work. Ah, got it. You see a bag of coins. Find 50 silvers and add them to your collection. Then put the empty bag back in the safe. Since you have already robbed the safe, you close the door, narrowly missing your fingers in the process. Carefully lower the position back in a, or, uh, painting back in place. Place the vase carefully in your pack beneath your cape. And I think that that is everything. So let's book it out of here. Night is still young. So let's head down here and fence everything. Crusher, how's it going? Shorter fish. Go visit the fence. And did all of our ill-gotten booty. 
40 silvers after taking the guild's cut. 90 silvers. 150 silvers. 500 silvers. 100 silvers. Was that everything? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. See if the chief has anything to say about our... Yep. Nothing. Alright. Let's head out. How much cash do we have? 90 gold pieces and 143 silver. Not too shabby. Alright, let's head back to the cemetery. For the sake... Actually, while we're over here, let's pick up the flying water as well. And now I'm going to sneak just for the sake of hopefully avoiding any monsters, because I don't really feel like fighting. Alright, so now we have everything we need for the Dispel Potion. Let's head back to the cemetery. Oop. Okay, not really sure what that was, but... Still young. Well, let me sleep. Next one. Middle of the night. Where's my... Ugh. Tell me. Mm. So, just like with the healing potions, it decided not to register that I had purchased the undead potion. Wonderful. Okay. So, is there anything left to do? There really isn't. Oh, so I'm just going to have to try and waste the day tomorrow. Ugh. That's some annoyance. Timed everything so perfectly. Okay. Well, maybe this way I will finally won't forget to collect the Dispel Potion. That is most unfortunate. So, what I'm going to do is snag this potion and I think just end the video or maybe I'll just pause the video maybe I'll pause the video until it's nighttime since there is literally nothing to do get the water Flying water, how clever. Uh, yes, purchase. Let's get this. Okay. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to pause the video here, and um, I will unpause when it is night time again. So, I will see you in a little bit. Alright, uh, so kind of just to waste some time during the day of doing some training and decided that I would kill the kobold quickly. So I'm going to go in and do that quickly and uh, kill the kobold thief style. So I'm going to take some rocks and just go to town on this bad boy. I like to bring him over here so he's closer. You can pretty much just lock him in this animation. He's trying to do his teleportation, but if he is struck while he tries to teleport, he can't move. So... We just hit him hard. And eventually, he should reach his limit. I don't remember really how many. Oh, 
I ran out of rocks. Okay, let's try to fight him. Oh, he's almost dead. And that was all I needed to finish it off. All right. Um, and once you stick around, I'm just going to grab the Dispel Potion. And then um, pause the video again. And uh, this time actually wait for... Ah, Source Rex. Honestly, I could probably beat it at this point, but I just have no interest. It's not worth the time. So, I think our Dispel Potion should be done. Here is the Potion of Dispel. Wonderful. Alright, so I will pause again and see you again at midnight outside the graveyard. All right, here we are back, and it is now midnight, and we are just south of the graveyard. So we'll put the undead ingent on ourselves. Go up here and collect the mandrake root, and then let's just go right to Babiago's, because why not? In fact, let's sneak there so we aren't bothered. Oh, too late. It's fine. I don't care enough to waste the time on this. Manta? Oops. Ooh, Cheetar. Let's see how we do. Alright. Yeah, so, uh, spent time yesterday doing some training, so uh, we're doing pretty well. Climbing and pick locks are high, not maxed. Same with luck. Strength and weapon use are good. Dodge, stealth, throwing, agility, vitality, all maxed out. Alright, let's go and see our friend. What's up, Bonehead? Yes, here, have the gem. Hope you can remember the rhyme. They say it's very rude the way that he insults us. I think that we're not that bad looking. Click the mouth on the hut. To tell it. Hut of Brown, now sit down. Alright, let's go visit our good, good friend, the kind and wonderful Baba Yaga. She's frozen us in place. What should we have for supper? Hero sandwich? Ooh, frog leg fricassee. Oh no. Now she has turned us into a frog. Um, learned that spell from Erasmus. Oh, thanks, Erasmus. I'm glad that you taught that to her. Hmm. Do we have a name? Yes, we do have a name. Ah, oh, yes, we're the hero. No, please, don't. Yes, I'm brave. Well, if you're in a small, teensy favor for me, I right reconsider having you for supper. When you get the root of a mandrake plant. Yes, I would be happy to do that. Just don't eat me. Okay, let's come back with a mandrake root. Where are we ever going to find one of those on such short notice? Oops, nearly forgot. Thanks. I do enjoy not being a frog. Alright, and we'll head right back up to talk to her. Hey, Bonehead. Goodbye, Bonehead. Alright, let's have a chat. The tingling sensation is gone. We are no longer protected by the undead potion. Let's head in. Hello. Good to see you again, Bobby Aga. Oh, and we're a frog again. Yum yum. Froggy frappe. Bring my mandrake root like you promised. Yes, I did. Well, where is it? Frog in your throat? Yeah, kind of. Oh, we're so much more appetizing as a frog. 
backpack. Ah, there it is. Kids, we have it. That's it. Final ingredient. Now we can make a greatest creation. Mandrake moose. That's... Oh, we should reward our lackey? Yes, we'll reward him by not eating him. Hmm, I'll have to return the favor. Oops. Actually, that was intentional. I just didn't feel like fighting whatever was there. So, probably wouldn't have faster than watching that animation. So much more fun to just sneak past all of the baddies. And so much more fitting for our thief character. Now, not that it's really necessary, but we will sleep for the night. And when we awake, I will end the video, and we will have our final video where we go through the end game. Before I do, I'm going to confirm one more time that I actually have the Dispel Potion. Good. Probably swing into the healers and just grab a couple potions, because why not? Um, but we will do that all in the next video. See you next time.